Howdy folks, Tex Grabner here with Tex Grabner Outdoors. I've been doing some fletching here. Now, we're going to be taking a trip down memory lane because I've got some limited edition Camo Hunter FMJs. But I also, before I go any further, I want to thank you guys that watch me. Because you guys that watch me helped me buy these arrows. So... Who's ready to get all nostalgic? There's no performance difference between the diamond plate pattern FMJs and the Camo Hunter FMJs. But if you've been in archery a long time, there's a high likelihood that the Camo Hunter print on the arrows is what you started out with. That or something like this fall stalker. Now this fall stalker is from before my time because it's got a tapered aluminum end and a glue on knock. I did not come into archery during the era of the glue on knock. I always had a tunable knock or a turnable knock where you can shoot cock vein out or shoot cock vein down or cock vein up. Now this is an XX75 game getter, but back in the day, I had Camo Hunter game getters, or something along those lines. Which, with that being said, I hated Easton Arrows. I hated them, because they were about as durable as a Coke can. So I'd undershoot my target and skip it down a gravel driveway and then I'd be shooting around corners until I could afford to get more arrows. But now, archery technology has come a long way to where we've got aluminum-wrapped carbon shafts in the FMJs here. So, while there is no performance difference between the Camo Hunter FMJ and the diamond plate FMJ. The truth is, there's a lot of sentimental value and nostalgia in the camo hunter pattern. Which is ironic because I got so excited to get a set of these, even though as a kid, I absolutely hated Eastern camo hunters. And I could not wait until I could afford to get carbon arrows because they wouldn't bend if you skipped them off the top of a 3D target. Now these arrows in particular are made up for my 75 pound Martin Hunter recurves. And I use a 300 grain point, a 100 grain brass insert. And this is a full length FMJ .300 shaft. Now, because I learned my lesson from losing arrows back when I had the original Fall Stalker and Camo Hunter patterns, this is a reflective arrow wrap. Arrow wrap doesn't really do anything other than add flare and panache to your arrows. But I've got reflective arrow wraps on here. Four inch right wing helical. And shield cut versus parabolic, I don't know if there's any performance difference. I just know that shield cut feathers look cooler to me. And, of course, a standard knock. My total arrow weight out of this arrow is 850 grains. As always, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please come my friends over at SOETactivator.com. Thank you very much to those who have been involved in law enforcement and those of you serving in the military. And thanks for watching Tech Scrabner Outdoors.